In this video, I'm going to go over a beginner's guide to the Bybit mobile app so that you can trade on the go. In this tutorial, I'll be covering how to deposit and withdraw crypto, how to exchange one crypto for another, how to place trades, how to set stop losses and take profits when placing trades, and how to set alerts. Out of respect for your time, I've left some timestamps in the description down below, so please feel free to skip ahead to the section that might be most relevant to you. And if this is your first time signing up on the Bybit Exchange, please feel free to take advantage of my affiliate link which is in the pinned comments section down below. When you tap on comments there, you'll see it right at the top. And if you use this link to register to Bybit, you're going to be eligible for bonuses of up to $1,705 plus 12% APY. This comes at no extra cost to you and helps support the channel, so thank you very much if you choose to do that. Don't forget to like and subscribe and let's get into the video. You can get the Bybit mobile app by scanning the QR code on Bybit's homepage once you've signed in or you can download it from the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store. When signing up to Bybit, you can do so by either using a mobile number or you can use your email address. I personally just used my email, I put in a good password and signed up from there. So on this screen here, I'm going to simply tap on email login. I'm going to put in my email and password and I'll see you inside the app. And here's the home page once you've signed into the mobile app. And don't forget to stop by the rewards hub by simply tapping on rewards hub. And that's going to bring you to this page here. And when I scroll down, you're going to see all kinds of rewards and bonuses that you can claim. So be sure to come in here, check this out and claim some of these free rewards. Also, if you want to be part of the referral program, you can sign up by simply tapping on invite now and you can pass on a link to your friends as well and provide them with some sweet deals. No point leaving any free money on the table. Anyhow, let's head back to the home page by clicking on the back button top left hand side of the screen here. To deposit some crypto, just simply tap where it says deposit. On this page here, you're going to see where it says coin and BTC. So this will be the Bitcoin deposit address. If you tap on this icon here, you're going to see your QR code. You can tap on copy address or you can tap on save picture to save that as a picture. Down below that is your actual BTC wallet address and you can simply tap on copy in order to copy that address. Just below that is a little warning and it says BTC deposits from non-BTC addresses are prohibited. These deposits cannot be retrieved. Below that it says BEP2 and BEP20 deposits are not supported, at least at the time of recording. If you want to deposit a different coin, just simply tap where it says coin. And here's the different coins that you can deposit. So if you want to deposit ETH, go ahead and tap on ETH. And on this page here, you'd follow the same procedures. Down below that, you also see it says ETH deposits from non-ETH addresses are prohibited. These deposits cannot be retrieved. I'm sure the type of person watching this tutorial is probably well aware of that, but we don't want to have any boo-boos and send the wrong cryptos to the wrong addresses. Anyway, simple as that. That's how you make a deposit. To withdraw some of those sweet gains from Bybit, just simply tap on the wallet icon at the bottom right hand side of your screen. That's going to bring you to this overview page here that's going to show you everything that you have in your account, including your BiFi account. And if you want to make a withdraw, just simply tap where it says withdraw. From this menu here, just select the cryptocurrency you wish to withdraw. In my case, all I have is Bitcoin in here, so I'll tap on BTC. On this page here, I would tap where it says please enter amount. And this is where I type in the amount I, I wish to withdraw. So I could do something like that. Or I can tap where it says all. Now I can withdraw all my Bitcoin. Once you're satisfied with that, just tap where it says next. And here's where you're going to select a wallet address that you're going to be sending to. And you would just do that by tapping where it says, please select an address. Now, if you don't have a withdrawal address in here, just simply tap on that icon on the top right hand side of your screen. And this is where you'll add your address. So you can see that this is currently selected to BTC. So this would be my Bitcoin address. You'd tap where it says address. And this is where you'd type in your address or you'd paste it in. Once you do that, you tap where it says address name, and here's where you'd give it a name. Once you're satisfied with that, you'd tap on confirm, and now you've added a withdrawal address. If you want to add an address for a different cryptocurrency, just tap where it says BTC. And from this menu, select the cryptocurrency that you wish to add a withdrawal address for. So if you want it to be Ethereum, just tap where it says ETH, and then follow the same procedure from here. Now that you've added an address, you can tap back here. 
And then this is where you would select the address you wish to send to. So you t I'd just tap on Darabit if I wanted to send to my Darabit account. And then I would tap Submit. If I want to modify the amount of Bitcoin that I'm withdrawing, then I would tap Modify Amount. And here's where I can edit the amount of Bitcoin I wish to send to that wallet. If you'd like to exchange one cryptocurrency to another, just simply tap on the wallet icon at the bottom right hand side of your screen. On this page here, tap where it says exchange. And this is the page where you can exchange one cryptocurrency to another. You can see that I have this set up to exchange Bitcoin to Ethereum. I can select an amount by simply tapping on one of these down below. So 25%, 50%, 75%. Once satisfied, just tap where it says quote. And in this little pop-up window here, it's, it's letting me know how much Ethereum I'll be receiving for the amount of Bitcoin that I wish to exchange. Once satisfied with that, just simply tap where it says continue to exchange. And you can change these coins around by simply tapping on them. So if I wish to exchange a different coin, I would tap where it says BTC. And I would select a coin from this drop-down menu here. If I wish to select a different coin to exchange into, I would tap where it says Ethereum. And I would select a different coin from this drop-down menu here. And that's how you get that done. When you're ready to place a trade using the Bybit mobile app, the first thing you want to do is select a contract pairing that makes the most sense for you. So you can see on the home page here, we have our inverse perpetual. So if I tap on that, you'll see four options in here, BTC versus USD, Ethereum versus USD, as well as EOS and XRP. These are coin margin pairings. So that means that all your profits will be settled in the underlying asset. It also means that you need the underlying asset in order to execute these trades. So if you want to trade BTC versus USD, you'll have to fund your Bitcoin wallet. If you want to trade Ethereum versus USD, it's the same thing. You'll have to fund your Ethereum wallet or you can swap one crypto for another. Next up is inverse futures. These are also coin margin, and you're gonna see that you can trade Bitcoin versus USD as well as Ethereum versus USD in here. And there's a few different expirations that you can choose from. Next to that is the USDT perpetuals, and these are tether margin. So all your profits will be settled in tether. It also means that you'll have to fund your USDT wallet in order to trade any of these pairings. And you can see here that there's actually quite a few more pairings you can trade here. There's Cardano, Uniswap, Aave, plenty. There's, that's just to name a few. Typically, I'll use the USDT perpetuals if we're in a downtrend. So if we're going through a bear market, I, I like to get settled in Tether. That way, it, it limits my exposure to the market. But if we're in an uptrend and things are bullish, I'll typically use the inverse perpetuals, which are coin margin. That way, I still have exposure to the market even when I close winning trades. When you're ready to place a trade, you would just tap on the pairing you wish to use. So in this case here, I'll just tap on BTC versus USD under the per inverse perpetuals. On this page here, you're going to see your chart and you can select different time frames by simply tapping on them. So if you want a four hour, you just tap on the four hour. If you want a 15 minute, you just simply tap on that. And if you want more time frames, just tap where it says more. And then here you can select monthlies, weeklies, dailies. We'll just go ahead and take a daily here. If you tap on this pencil icon at the top right, you can get all kinds of drawing tools here where you can draw on trend lines, horizontals, raise cross lines all kinds of things i'll go ahead and i will draw a horizontal line i'll just drag these crosshairs down like this let's just put one there for fun why not and that's how you would stick a horizontal on your chart if you want to add an indicator you can click one of the indicators at the bottom there so ma is for moving averages or you can type on, or you can tap on bollinger bands if you want bollinger bands and you just tap it again if you want to remove them if you want to add volume to your chart just tap where it says volume and if you want to if you want to add a macd you could tap on macd and again, just tap on them again if you want to get rid of that. Below that is your depth of chart. And then down below that is your order book right here. When you're ready to make a trade, you would just simply tap on that middle icon at the bottom of your screen. Kind of looks like an arrow. And you give that a tap. At the top left hand side of the order panel, you'll see that I have it set on limit. If you want to change that, just simply tap where it says limit. And here's where you can select your market orders as well as your conditional orders by simply tapping on them. Now we're set to market. Now we're set to conditional. If you're brand new to trading and don't know the difference between these different order types, feel free to watch my Bybit beginners tutorial as I go into quite a bit of detail in that video. So I'll leave a link for you in the description down below. I'm going to head back to limit orders here and let's do a limit order demonstration. So let's say I want to be a buyer of Bitcoin at 35,000. I would tap where it says order price. 
and then I would type that in. Then I would tap where it says contract quantity. And here's where I'd put in the amount of contracts I wish to purchase at 35,000. You can also use this slider bar right here. But I will go ahead and just leave that out on one contract. Down below that, you'll see where it says TPSL. If you tap on that, here's where you can set your take profit as well as a stop loss upon execution of this order. So let's say you're targeting 40,000. You just type that in right here. And let's say you want a stop loss at 34,000. You just type that in right here. Tap confirm. And then when you're ready to place this order on the order book, just simply tap buy long. This pop-up window here is going to have your trade details, so check it over. Make sure you put everything in correctly. You'll see my take profit at 40000 stop loss at 34000 and estimated liquidation price at 23419 And of course, I don't need to worry about that because my stop loss will get me out of the way at 34000 If everything looks good, you just simply tap confirm. Now down below, you'll see under orders there, if you tap on that, you'll see your order on the order book for 35,000. If you want to modify the order, just simply tap where it says modify. And here's where you can modify the order price as well as the order quantity. Or you can tap on take profit, stop loss if you want to modify those details as well. Once they're modified, just tap on confirm. And if you want to cancel the order, just simply tap on cancel. If you'd like to adjust the amount of leverage you're using, just simply tap at the top right hand side of your screen. You'll see on mine it says 2x, so I'm going to tap on that. And you can use this slider bar right here to adjust your leverage. Or you can even just type it in. If you want to switch to cross margin, you just simply tap on cross margin. And then you would tap on save. But I'm going to go ahead and stay on isolated here. Let's adjust this to a different margin setting, we'll go 1.5, tap save. And now you'll see that I've adjusted the margin. Top right hand side, you'll see that now says 1.5x. So let's quickly move to market orders. So I'm gonna tap on limit, tap on market. And let's say I just wanna get in the trade right away at the best available price. I would just put in the amount of contracts here. And let's just say I wanna buy long, I would tap on buy long. This pop-up window appears here. Make sure the details look good and tap on confirm. And now you'll see under positions that I filled an order of one contract at 35486 If I want to set a take profit and stop loss, I would tap on TPSL. And then again, if I wanted to target 40 k I'd put that in. If I want a stop loss at 34 k I'd put that in there. And hit confirm. If I want to close this trade, I would tap on close by. And here's where you can either exit the trade using a market or you can tap on limit if you want to exit using a limit order. I'll just go ahead and just use the market order here. Tap confirm. And you'll see that position filled. If you're looking to set an alert using the Bybit mobile app, just simply tap where it says alert. On this page here, you will see plenty of strategy alert options, all the way from custom widgets, price alerts, price spike, plunge, changes in open interest, as well as funding fee reminders. Let's say I want to set a very basic price alert. I would just simply tap where it says price alerts. And on this page here, you can see that it's set to BTC USD. And you can see that we're currently trading at 32,350. Let's say I want to be notified if price crosses below 32,000. I would just tap right here. And then I would type that in. Tap save. Now you can see down below that I've set an alert for 32,000. So if price action gets below that, I shall be notified. If I'd like to cancel that, I would tap the red minus button to the right. Tap the trash icon. And now I've removed that alert. If I'd like to set a price alert for a different crypto, I would tap where it says BTC USD. And then I would select whatever coin from here that I wish to set an alert for. So Ethereum. Let's say I want to set one at 1900, just type that in, tap save, and down below you can see that I've set an alert for Ethereum at 1900. I'm going to go ahead and cancel that. And changes in open interest, that's kind of a cool one, I'll tap on that. 
Here's where you can tap on whatever coin you want to subscribe to. So let's say we want to do inverse perpetual. I'll tap there. And let's say I want to set an open interest alert on BTC USD. I would tap subscribe. And here's where I can select the percent change in open interest. Let's say 5%. Now you can see that I've set an alert for BTC USD. If the open interest changes by 5%, I'll be notified. And that's a couple examples as to how to set alerts. And there you have it, a quick beginner's introduction to the Bybit mobile app. If you'd like me to go into more detail in a future video, please let me know in the comment section down below. May good fortune be upon you, happy trading, and have yourself a powerful day.